What's going on? Uh -oh. The music just played. What's going on YouTube? Juan Valdez back with a brand new video. And today I wanted to talk about building systems in your business to help you scale and grow and allow you to spend less time working in the business and more time working on actually growing the business and obviously on more productive things. So I actually just finished getting a haircut and I was just trying to get a phone case for my new phone. I got the XX Max. Um, let me know what you guys think about this phone. I think it's pretty similar to the X, but I haven't really tried it out with all the different features that it has available. But yeah, I just went to Best Buy to try to get a phone. They didn't have a phone case. They didn't have any, so I'm gonna have to try and stop by the Apple store before they close because I am terrible with phones. I drop my phone all the time and I definitely don't trust myself without a phone case. So besides the fact, the reason why I decided to make this video is because within my business, I noticed that not having systems in place for certain things in different areas of you know my e-commerce business really slowed down my efficiency and really slowed down how fast I could actually scale, right? And what I mean by that is I would realize I found my, before I had systems in place and before I had a team helping me out, me and my business partner out, it was very difficult to, you know, really get things done and have a streamlined process from like the point where we would create a store all the way to the point where, you know, we would launch an ad, right? And obviously, I talk about how within e-commerce, there's different components that come into play, right? You obviously have store creation, you have product research, you have advertising, backend. I see those all as different areas of your e-commerce business, right? Because when it comes to e-commerce, again, it's not something where like, you know, again, you just like find any product, put it up on any store or any, and run an ad and like, it just, it just magically works. Like that's not how I see it as, at least up to date. It might have been, it may have been like that before, but definitely not up to date. And so what really helped me uh, be able to scale, because now obviously I have stores, me and my business partner have stores that honestly they just, they crank out about six figures every single month and we barely even touch them now. Um, we just log in there, make sure everything's running correctly. When it actually comes down to the work that gets done in order to, in order to keep that store running, we don't do too much of it uh, or almost any of it. So what allowed us to get to this point now is again, really creating systems and streamlining the process that we have in place. Now, I need a second here because my GPS is trying to take me on this damn highway, which is a no-go because there's a ton of traffic. For those of you guys that don't know where I'm from, I'm actually from Los Angeles, California. Well, this is where I'm living now. And the traffic here is insane, and I will do anything to avoid traffic at all cost. One of the first things I, I kind of noted here is Creating systems forces you to think through the process and improve it. And what I mean by that is, um, just a quick example. Before in my e-commerce business, when I was when I used to do product research, I would find myself finding out that some of the products I tested. Notice that I said tested. Later on, after I'd already you know tested it and spent some money on advertising. I had figured out, I would figure out that the products weren't even worth testing, right? And the reason why that was happening was because again, I didn't have a process to really go go by when it came to actually doing thorough product research. And so I started to realize that this kept happening and it actually happened to, with even more products. And I started doing a little bit of math. It actually ended up co costing me like obviously money, but also time. And so after I started giving it more time I and mean, I, thought thoroughly through what I was doing when it came to you know, doing product research, I realized that I could prevent myself from having to test as many products to find winning products if I simply added in one or two more steps or yeah, one or two more steps into the process that I went by when it came time to actually do product research. And after I implemented these few steps into the process that I kind of had in place, it made product research a lot easier and it also made it so that I didn't have to test as many products to find winning products. But until I did this, I kept running into the same issue that I had before, which was finding out that the, some of the products that I tested in reality had no chance of even becoming winning products. But I didn't find out till after I tested, which is not obviously efficient if I can figure this out beforehand. So this is just one example, right? If you spend some time to actually go through the processes when it comes to setting up your store, doing product research, creating ads, 
um, building out your backend, email marketing, whatever the case may be, you're gonna get a lot more efficient into actually uh, doing those things. And so um, one thing you guys should try to do is see how you can have a system or pay attention to, obviously you wanna learn the right way of you know how to actually um, do these things, like how to actually do, how to actually create the store the right way, how to actually do product research the right way, how to advertise the right way, how to set a back end the right way, how to do email marketing, all that great stuff, right? Obviously you wanna learn how to do these things the right way, but after you learn how to do them, spend some time actually going through and realizing like what you're doing and how you're doing it, right? And kind of the system that you're following because what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to realize like what kind of things you always need to do and what things you don't need to do in order to be more efficient with your process. And that's gonna be huge because again, time is everything. Like you don't have infinite time to spend just like not doing things the right way or not using all the resources you have available to you. So that's something that's super important. Um, that was one of the things I wanted to make sure I covered. Uh, second thing I wanted to mention is that having systems in place allows you to have improved and consistent performance right because obviously once you narrow down the things that work and the things that don't work well now you become a lot more efficient it's like exactly what i spoke about just earlier they kind of relate the two things once i figured out these two extra steps that i could add into my product research i went from or me and my business partner went from having to test like 15 to 20 products to having it down within like every eight to 10 products, we would find a winning product. And that's a perfect example, right? But you have to spend the time to actually, you know, go through and create somewhat of a system. And then you can improve that system, obviously by, you know, removing and adding things that work and don't work. Having systems in your business is what obviously allows you to scale. And we'll kind of talk about that in a little bit here. Now, also, having a system in place also makes it really easy to have people have people come in and join your team and help you grow and scale, right? Because if you already take the time to design this system up front that you use yourself, well, now, whenever you wanna obviously automate and you know delegate some of the work that you're currently doing surrounding your business, it's a lot easier to hand off the work because you already have a system you're going by. If you have no system in place, you're gonna have to kinda go through, walk them through, whatever it is that you have to do. For example, if you want to out, outsource like fulfilling orders and tracking emails and things like that, well, if you don't have a system you go by, you kind of just do it in random orders where like you fulfill the order, then later on you, um, you know, keep track of that customer email. It, obviously, I'm, I'm not using like the best examples, but it, it comes down to how scalable your business ends up being after you have a system in place compared to when you don't have a system in place. And so um, bottom line, having systems in place allows you to be able to plug and play uh, people into your business and that's what's gonna help you grow and scale. And so what I try to do is have a system outlined for all different areas of my business and actually spend the time to go through and you know look through these systems, right? See what things can go wrong by following these systems and what things can go really well by following the systems and and after i go through and kind of outline you know the good and the bad obviously then i spend some time actually testing it out right seeing what other people think about the system what other staff members that i have on the team think and putting them through the system seeing how it works for them and so again what that does is it allows me to see you know, if the system that I have in place is only something that I can use or if it's something that's duplicatable. And you want something that's duplicatable because, again, that's how you can actually scale. The ultimate goal isn't to, you know, spend all your time running everything of your in your business yourself. Your goal is to obviously go through the learning process uh, yourself. Uh, implement everything that you learn and like take some time to get you know down to the meat and potatoes and do everything yourself then after you learn everything then you start to outsource and delegate some of the things that way you can spend your time you know working on more productive things your ultimate goal is to um, spend less time working in the business and spend more time on you know money making activities for example you know figuring out uh, what kind of new ads you can potentially run to you know, actually get results in your business, right? Uh, what kind of products or what kind of spy tools can you get your hands on to research 
different products that can be winning products and have an even better process for your product research process, things like that. And so that's what I wanted to make this video to kind of clarify on why building systems is so important and why you should spend time, you know, really trying to create business uh, systems in, for your business because it's a that spending time to actually create a system is actually a very valuable and money-making activity because what that does is it allows you to free up again the time that you're spending doing things in random orders if you don't have a system it's it just makes things chaotic right being able to map out a system is just a lot better of a plan and a, it feels a lot better when you're you know running your business rather than just doing things in an unorganized matter for example you know one thing that worked that helped me out really well in my business is having a process before i launch any advertisings right any facebook ads for example and the reason why it helped me so much is because I realized when I didn't go by a process, when I came to actually testing different Facebook ads and launching different campaigns, I would find myself getting results on different ads that weren't really what I was looking for, but getting these bad outcomes and not getting the results that I was actually looking for could have all been avoided if I would have simply done specific research, right? For example, um, I remember the time where I tested different targeting on an ad set, right? But in reality, the ad set that I tested, I didn't do too much research on it, right? I just kind of figured, well, this makes sense to target on my perspective, let me just test it out. And I, I didn't have a crazy budget, oh, I didn't use a crazy budget to test that out, uh, I just used a small budget. But again, like the ad did terribly wrong or terribly bad and after I thought about it, you know, because obviously that ad didn't work, so I had to spend some time doing research after I tested those ads in that campaign. You know, I, I narrowed down then the exact targeting that I actually should have used to begin with. And so because I rushed the process and I didn't take the time to research it up front, it cost me some money, right? So obviously you don't want to flush any money down the toilet e-commerce you're already gonna have to do that regardless when you're testing different things and when you're learning so you want to be as effective as possible and so after I had a system in place and a system that we have in place now in our business when it comes to launching campaigns there's an exact system that we go by where again we do you know we research different ads that have done well for whatever product or niche we're planning on you know testing products in. we research different targeting we research different um you know we research what kind of ads did better with images versus what kind of ads did better with videos and this for these specific products or niches and going through this process has made our testing and our just our process overall a lot more efficient and a lot easier for us to find winning ads and so i know for us for me and my business partner like this has been a completely game changer and that's why i actually wanted to take a time to or take some time to actually make this video to tell you guys how important it is once you actually start learning things to really focus on um building systems within your business it's going to make everything a lot more a lot more streamlined a lot more effective and so um uh, my business partner and I, we actually put together a free case study that you guys can check out where we talk about not only the systems that we have in place within our business, but also how you guys can start, well, stop trying to compete on price specifically and really dominate with value. And that's something that we kind of learned after, again, going through syst having these systems in place because what we would realize is we would actually try to you know really come in and undercut sometimes the competition and figure like hey if this person's crushing it really well well why can't we crush it you know by simply having a better price and in reality that's not really um much of a game plan but we started figuring it figuring this out after we had like again systems in place for our business and so uh, we put together a free case study you guys can check out if you actually check out the link down in the description a completely free case study showing you guys how we were able to implement not only systems within our business but showing you guys a new strategy or a cutting edge strategy that we're using within our business to um, stop competing on price and really dominate with value and also how to attract more customers by creating offers right creating more value with the products that we're selling than the competition does and so i know maybe a little bit off topic than obviously what i was just talking about with the systems but 
I wanted to still mention it to obviously show you guys because again, this strategy is helping tons of people out and uh, it's a strategy that will help you guys get real results if you had if you if you have already been trying out e-commerce and if you already have an e-commerce business so check it out the, the, there's going to be a link down below and that's pretty much it for this video if you guys learn absolutely anything from this video i'd appreciate it if you drop the like of course if you have any questions about anything that i went over drop the questions down in the comments below i'll get back to you guys and if you haven't already make sure you join the v fam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace